Welcome to the MPREP workstation instructional video. This video will show how the MPREP workstation is used to easily and accurately orient different types of specimens and load them into MPREP S capsules. The workstation is organized for efficient specimen preparation. Note that the surface is flat so that specimens can be cut and dissected while viewing in a single focal plane under a stereo microscope. The back of the workstation provides a location for storing empty MPREP S capsules and screens until they are ready for use. Both sides of the workstation have 12 wells to hold MPREP capsules after they have been loaded with specimens. These wells can be filled with buffer or fixative to keep specimens immersed until processing. The spacing between capsule wells matches your multi-channel pipetters to enable fast and easy subsequent processing. At the front of the workstation is the actuation lever. This lever opens a slit in the MPREP S screen to pinch mount and orient specimens. The workstation top is made from soft polyethylene to enable dissecting and cutting specimens without dulling tools. Specimens can be kept organized and moist by dissecting in the 12 dissection wells. The MPREP screen insertion tool is located in the center of the workstation. Within the insertion tool is the spreader rod. This rod moves up to spread apart the screen to open a slit that is used to pinch mount specimens. Screens are easily loaded into the insertion tool. First, we will show this by loading the screen from an MPREP S capsule. To load a screen from an MPREP capsule, simply slide the capsule over the insertion tool and align the screen tabs into the insertion tool slots. Rotate about 1 8 turn clockwise to engage the tabs and then lift off the capsule. With a little practice, this can be done very quickly by feel. To pinch mount a specimen, simply press down on the actuation lever to open the slit. Then insert the specimen and release the lever to clamp the back end. An empty capsule is then slid over the insertion tool and rotated about 1 8 turn counterclockwise to release the screen from the tabs before lifting off. Now we'll show the loading of a loose screen into the insertion tool. When loading screens, ensure that the screen tabs are fully engaged into the insertion tool slots. This is done by rotating the screen tabs clockwise. Pressing the actuation lever opens the screen slit. The sample is then inserted in the lever release to clamp the specimen. An empty capsule is then placed over the insertion tool, rotated counterclockwise to release the tabs, and then lifted off. The screen can be loaded at different depths to accommodate samples of different sizes. A second way to mount specimens is by compression mounting. Of course, the amount of compression can be minimal. First, place a screen into the insertion tool. Because the screen will not be spread to open the slit, it is not necessary to ensure that the tabs are engaged with the insertion tool slots. Then, place a specimen on top of the screen in the desired orientation. Note that in this example, the specimen is rather large for easy viewing. An empty capsule is then slid over the insertion tool, and the specimen is lightly compressed to sandwich it between the screen and the inside of the MPREP capsule. A third way to load specimens is to use the concave side of the screen. To do so, the spreader rod must first be removed. This is done by simply lifting it out and setting it aside. This example also shows that samples can be easily kept wet with buffer or fixative during processing. A wet sample is placed into the concave cavity of the screen. An empty capsule is then slid over the screen and insertion tool and is rotated counterclockwise to remove the screen. Sometimes wet fingers make it difficult to grip the capsule, but dry fingers will work. This final example shows a dry sample being loaded into the concave screen, and then into the capsule. After use, the MPREP workstation is easily washed by placing under running water. 
Note that the spreading rod should be removed so it won't be lost. After washing, the workstation can be dried on a rack. Thank you for watching. If you would like further information, please contact Microscopy Innovations at info at microscopyinnovations.com.